Just here with Ben Taylor after it was announced that you've been picked for the under-19 England squad. Uh, give us your thoughts on that, please. Well, obviously, it's a great opportunity um, and, and you know, a dream come true to, to represent my country. Um, you know, it's been a quick turnaround with the announcement of the, the funding coming back for the for the futsal just before Christmas and then to, to have a squad ready. Um, one train camp left now before we fly out uh, on the 17th is a bit of a crazy turnaround, but buzzing to be a part of it. Yeah, you've got uh, Malta, Estonia, Lithuania, if I'm correct. Yes. So, uh, first game against Malta. What, what, what's your thoughts going into that? Um, well, we've not, not as a team, had a look properly yet at some of the, their footage, but I know that we have some because as goalkeepers, we've seen clips of their attacking play and what we can do. Um, but I'm hopeful that we can get, get off to a good start and put ourselves in a great position to, to go on and hopefully qualify for the main round in Italy. Just, just a thing on the, the futsal funding coming back. What, talk through the importance of that and how important futsal is uh, to the wider community. I think it's a, it's a great step forward uh, for futsal, obviously, with the BT funding. Um, it's hopefully, you know, trying to grow the game um, with sort of that TV footage. But as well, um, it gives the FA some, some sort of support, developing some technical players for both futsal and football, which I know uh, their initiative um, is, is, is aimed towards because, you know, some of the best players in from, you know, Spain, Brazil, Portugal have had futsal backgrounds. So I think that really um, helps drive the game forward and hopefully helps move the game forward um, for everyone. Finally, on behalf of everyone at Derby Futsal Club, massive congratulations. On that Thank you very much. Thank you.